we are back at our base and this is where we stopped last time and uh, yeah the florist building is missing but we're gonna have to postpone that um, to another time because not yet uh, there's not yet enough um, kelp since I rarely spend any time in this area so the kelp farm we did uh, could not have the chance yet to produce enough and I need the kelp for the build so I thought uh, then maybe to start off with our main build because I really also noticed that uh, the storage monster um, becomes out of hand and uh, I really need some kind of a better storage system and um, yeah of course it will be part of the main build which is here and I laid down the foundations already as you can see so here we have again uh, four blocks in between and yeah, we're going for a little bit of an off shape here and uh, also we make the uh, house a little bit like uh, I wouldn't say v-shape but like a thinner bottom and then it's on the uh, second level it's gonna be a bit uh, wider actually than the base is this time I tried a little bit different approach I tried to get down the skeleton first and even try to put in some floor before we put in some of the walls um, but I think the approach from the last time was a little bit better it's because it's a little bit hard to imagine at the moment still where this is going um, just want to show you that we have this basic L shape here with three columns here, three columns there and then we have this extra part here which just have uh, two columns on each side and I think the special part then, uh, well, I, I think for this house is that then on each, on this extra level it comes out now by one and it comes out by two towards the city center and then one on this side one on this side and two towards the forest. Here you can see already the base shape. Alright, I'll continue building. So on the third level we also come even out one more and here two more on these sides where we just went out one more beforehand like here we come out two more and we already also placed some um, cobblestone to yeah strengthen the build look a little bit this might be wrong there but yeah so uh, it will be the last level and then we can build the roof progress update so I filled in the sections, the walls, and um, I left occasionally already uh, some gaps for windows that we can place in. As you can see here, probably there will also be uh, some windows, but I'm not completely sure on that yet. And um, yeah, that is the house looking so far. I mean, there are still some walls left to go. And I also put in a basic uh, roof already so that hopefully I can get it uh, mob proof soon. Uh, but yeah, here from this angle you can see how it comes out by one and comes out a little bit more. It looks, I mean, a lot of decoration is still missing, but um, I hope that should look uh, interesting at the end my first night in the new house ah feels good this is how far i came so we have a basic build now it's uh, still undecorated but um i'll also show you from this side But that took already quite some time, so unfortunately, unfortunately, you will not have more time in this episode for this build, but um, it's planned for the future. Um, maybe something I do off camera is um, 
doing some landscaping here. So this is not completely done yet. As you can see, that looks a bit strange. So this is what I have to fill out. And also I have to light up the caves. Here are caves directly beneath. So quite an often times I can't sleep actually in the house because there are monsters here everywhere. Yeah. All right, but um, it's still a very good progress, I think. So that we also started on our main house here. Ah, oh, still windows missing, but um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good so far. In one of the last episodes, we also started one of the target block minigames we wanted to do, um, and it's a joint project with uh, Nero, if you can remember. And uh, of course, I also would like to share now with you the progress. So we decided, Nero and I, that game participation will cost one diamond, which will be put into this chest here. And when the player starts, we also process the diamond here. And we decided that it's a uh, 50-50, so there's a 50% chance that it's going to go into the prize pool and there's a 50% chance that it's going into our pockets because we still have a lot of maintenance work to do, um, you know, stacking up arrows and bows and uh, getting the points into all the uh, droppers and stuff. So uh, we thought that is a fair fair deal. Just want to show you as well how it works. So let's put, put 64 in here. And um, yeah, I will just activate it a few times and uh, this is simulating that the player is actually sitting in the minecart and is uh, starting the game. And each time a game is started and also one uh, diamond is pulled through here, which I can show you in a second. And you can see here also this torch shortly blinking. So when a player starts the game, this hopper here and also this hopper there are shortly unlocked so that one diamond has a time to go through. And here we decide if the dirt should come in to our chest or if the dirt should go up into the barrel. And the uh, trick I'm using here is uh, actually quite interesting. Maybe it's also useful for you. So we are just delivering this item here into this dropper. And this is then measured here with a comparator. And we have two items here in this um, dropper, which is activated. So one item is going to be spit out in here and then immediately put back like so. And one of these items is stackable and one is non-stackable. The non-stackable one will give a signal strength of three and the stackable signal strength of one. If we get a single strength of three, then the signal is going around here, 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 turning off the torch, and the diamond from here will be for Nero and myself. If it is signal strength of one, then the signal will come out here and activating both droppers, which will put it up into the barrel. This circuit is also activated when there's a signal strength of three. So it's not just activated when there's single strength of one, but also when there's of, uh, single strength of three. But that circuit there is slower than this one. So this will win in this case. So when we have uh, yeah, single strength three, we will get the diamond. I can uh, I'll run this a few more times here just with dirt. And it's... Uh, uh, a chance process, right? Because the dropper here is randomly pushing one of the items out. So and then more or less eight, nine, okay. Seven here. So more or less then we have a 50-50 distribution and on the long run it will of course be exactly a in the very long line, 50-50 uh, distribution. Yeah, Nero and I also did this room here. So when the player is finished, he comes around with the minecart here, under the carpet, then there's an activator rail here, 
and the player will jump out here and then he can count his points or her points in the chest so all the water streams with all the points from all the target blocks are collected here and then we also have a tiny targets leak where players can put in their score yeah that's pretty much it then the minecart here gets recycled and then also there are hoppers here beneath so if the player then exits here then also the items out here are flushed out yeah that's it pretty good pretty good hello, hello. <laughs> right so how would you like to do this ah so what have you been working on the last 10 days huh okay so for the last 10 days i have been working on tiny tea Ta <laughs> so yeah we we finally done and i believe it took us uh 10 days to do <laughs> yes 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 i'm gonna join you a little aerial view so uh yeah tiny tea is finally done it took us uh quite a while and uh I'm pretty proud of uh, where it's gotten so far. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. Would you like to do a walkthrough and then we can uh, explain how everything works? Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, do you want me to explain? Uh, yes, I think so. At least the uh, first area. Would you? Okay. Yeah, sure. So after walking underneath the sign that says Tiny Tees, we just need to uh, do a quick walkthrough of uh, following this path. And uh, as you can see, there's a little sign that says, proceed straight along this trail to get to Tiny Tees or Tiny Targets. And um, yeah, so this uh, is a little courtyard. So you can walk through, it's just a nice scene to see like a castle vibe. And uh, yeah, we just pretty much you need know, to walk through, go up, stairs over here and then we'll get to the final or the beginning of tiny tees mm -hmm. yeah so most of the part uh, is underground right so yes yeah. yeah so yeah this is uh yeah this is the tiny tees little uh, entrance and uh there's a little book over here that explains everything and uh you guys can pause it just to see uh what each page page says and uh yeah, it, it's very, very simple. Each uh, user has to take uh, a bow and then a stack of arrows. They put a diamond in the chest. And uh, basically, some of the diamonds, it's all randomized, go into the prize pool. And uh, the rest gets a sneakily hidden, put away into another chest. But uh, yeah, so um, I think maybe Bob should do a run through and I will uh -huh. do a little... Okay, so I have to pay the diamond. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can pay the diamond as no, well. No, 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 no. It's okay. So yeah, I'll put a diamond in here, and um, this is a payment for each uh, attempt. And um, then I just hop here into the minecart. I just need to make sure that there's no other player playing at the moment, which I know is correct. And then I just press the button, and the uh, game will start.
All right, so uh, this is pretty much the final product of uh, Tiny Tees, and we're going to do a demonstration on our own. So uh, it's officially open, and uh, welcome to Tiny Tees. Yes, and also the leak, Tiny Tea leak, thereby has opened, and uh, going to be exciting to see some uh, competitors here, and uh, who is going to win the uh, big prize pool at the end. Yeah, I can't wait, and. Uh, the, the league's going to last uh, every week for for now, and uh, then we're going to see how it goes. So each week we'll announce the winners, and uh, we'll take it from there. So thanks thanks for coming through to the opening. Thank you very much as well. Let's, Looking forward. Let's go do all the demonstrations. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have to wrap up the episode and uh, hand out an award. And this time the award goes to... Neroland. So you have also now two awards and uh, yeah the award goes for yeah taking care of the whole um, Neroland server um, which keeps all of us going but also um, thanks for pushing me to the uh, replay mod. I had fun uh, trying it out and I think it's a very helpful tool um, used um, at least when used moderately and uh, I like it a lot. And also, yeah, of course, thanks for the joint uh, Tiny Tea project. It was a lot of fun building, and I think we're going to even have more fun uh, playing it. Um, so I'm looking forward for that. So thank you very much, and congratulations to the uh, Shoe Award. You are now tied up with two awards with Lucky. All right, take care, and bye-bye. So uh, then I will add a little clip of that, but you get dropped down from the top into a hole and I might just die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more.